Hello, this is John Milburn from Central Queensland University. Continuing our legal research series, we have a lot to cover, so I'll move pretty quickly through this one. The first is the library for the university. Share the screen. You'll see the legal, the law resources guide has information about legal databases and links to those legal databases. I'm going to show you some of those briefly, but I urge you to explore these databases. If you're overwhelmed thinking, oh, well, I, I don't know which ones to look at, I'll highlight some that I think are the most important. The first is Lexis Advance Pacific. It is a new platform. Um, I'm becoming familiar with this new platform. It's terrific. It has um, great number of publications. Some of the ones that you'll need to access most often are on the right-hand side. Case-based cases is very good. The Encyclopedic Australian Legal Dictionary and Hallsbury's provide you with secondary materials that are of high quality. Law Now legislation is new for the library. We now have that subscription. It's excellent. And it's another way for you to access um, legislation available to you. Now, the um, Queensland reports are the authorised reports. And these are the ones that you should cite and refer to in um, your materials. Um, and present in court proceedings as priority to other sources. Other than that, you can scroll down and click the um, more button, which gives you a few more of the um, more popular searches uh, that are available to you. Or you can view all publications on the right hand side and it will give you the comprehensive list of everything that's available to you through Lexis Advanced Pacific and it's um, comprehensive, it's authoritative, it's excellent. And uh, I'll leave you to scroll through that. But the ones that I've shown you are probably the most important ones and you should become familiar with those. Let's um, just go back to the home page for Lexis Advance. And um, if I could very briefly show you the search facility at the top ribbon. So this is just to give you an example of how this works. So you'll see the top ribbon where you can enter search terms. Let's um, enter search term that I just tried a moment ago, which I use as a default when showing things, negligence and balcony in full. Um, let's search, not for everything, but for Queensland. So you can see you can search by jurisdiction. You can further refine that by searching content type, all right, we want cases, and below that, legal topics. Which legal topic do we want? We'll go with torts and civil law. We'll undertake that search now, and we will see that it comes up with 22 cases. Um, and these are similar cases that you would find in other search platforms like Palmer and Finnegan we had a look at previously. And again, these are all workable links, and you can follow those links. Um, and I urge you to spend some time. It's uh, well worth the effort. All right, but we have a lot to cover. Um, so the fact that I'm moving through it quickly doesn't mean that this is unimportant. This is a really good platform and one that um, you should include as part of your legal research. In fact, many people use this as their main legal research facility, Legal Ad uh, Lexus Advanced Pacific. Okay, um, let's go back to Queensland Reports. We're at the home page for Lexis Advance. I showed you previously Queensland reports. You can narrow the searches by going to an advanced search um, where you can narrow the topic as well. Okay, so plenty of workable uh, options for you in terms of that. The law now legislation facility is excellent. It's another way for you to access legislation and um, you can undertake an advanced search or you can search by browsing. The, I wanted to show you this because on the right hand side it has the connectors and commands that you might want to use when you're undertaking searches and you can undertake the search through jurisdiction. Um, you can select different content type, bottom left hand side, cases, legislation, analytical materials. You'll find on this site there are lots of good pieces of information 
to guide you through the process. So I'm very pleased to see that that's available. Um, other ones that you might want to look at include the um, Australian legal words and phrases and Hallsbury's is excellent. Um, it's the counterpart of Laws of Australia, which is the Westlaw topic. And uh, if you're going to Hallsbury's, you could, um, you know, do a, an example of a search, go to succession and drill down from there. Um, if, for example, you're researching an issue about challenging a will. Australian Encyclopedia uh, is excellent because it provides definitions of areas of practice and uh, will guide you through that. Okay, I know that's very quick, but I do want you to spend a considerable amount of time looking at that material because it is excellent. Also excellent is Westlaw. Um, the main ones that you want here are uh, Commonwealth Law Reports, which are the authorised reports, Federal Administrative Law, Federal Court Reports, <coughs> and Law Reports are very good. First point is the Citata and uh, Queensland reports again is the uh, authorised reports. The Laws of Australia <clears throat> is an excellent resource and something that you should look at. Um, if you're looking for general information of high quality um, for that. So again, um, I'll leave you to browse through that at your leisure, but the main ones there I think are First Point and the Laws of Australia. You can do a quick online tour, and um, I'd recommend that you do that to uh, uh, give you an overview. You can uh, follow a number of search links that relate to help on the top right hand side and um, obtain information that way. So you'll see now that um, you can expand these um, search facilities. You can undertake searches directly from the table of contents. Uh, you can build links to the site and uh, if you're looking for information you can find it there. Each of these are expandable keys um, where you can identify much greater information. So in first point you can drill down to an area of practice of interest to you and even within that you can expand and obtain further more specific information. So uh, it's an excellent resource. Generally, the Thomson Reuters have done a great job in Westlaw, and I'd urge you to look at that in detail. So, for example, um, have a look at um, family law issues and uh, refer to the legislation which is incorporated into it. Okay, other than that, we have CCH which is the uh, IntelliConnect. Um, it has very good information, particularly in relation to say taxation, employment and family law, uh, industrial relations, I think are probably the main areas where I would go to uh, CCH to undertake some search inquiries. The um, information on CCH is easy to use. You have some quick start guides and uh, information about search connectors, etc. But again, just use the expand facility to undertake more detailed search. And as we're familiar with, there is the search facility at the top ribbon as well. Again, I know this is really brief, but I just want you to start becoming familiar with these search facilities and undertake those searches. All right, I'm just going to stop the pause um, now, or the share rather. And just talk to you about authorised reports. So we've talked about the fact that authorised reports are the ones that you need to include in material that you present to a court. And um, if there is a, um, uh, an authorised report, that's the one you should use. So you need to catalogue where you find these things. If you're looking for the Commonwealth Law Reports, go to Westlaw. If you're looking for Federal Court Reports, go to Westlaw. If you're looking for the Supreme Court um, Queensland reports, you can either go to LexisNexis or to Westlaw. Make sure that when you're citing these reports in your material that you follow the guides 
in the Australian Guide to Legal Citations. Now, sometimes overlooked, but still important um, in practice, and you should become familiar for this for assignment work, is the practice directions around the state. So I'm going to share the screen again and show you an example. So here we have practice direction 16 of 2013 in the Supreme Court, which deals with the issue of citing, citing authorities. And the fact that um, 3A says a citation of a judgment from a set of authorised reports is to be preferred. So we have the practice directions that say that, and we have uh, legislation that says that as well. So you are encouraged in your assignment work to use authorised reports where you can. Now briefly some information about federal court and um, practice directions. So we have practice notes and the national practice areas practice notes, um, which is an incorporation of uh, materials. So what I showed you previously was Supreme Court, Queensland. Now we're dealing with the federal court. Um, the <coughs> have a look at <coughs> an excellent publication about case management. It's through the Law Council of Australia and it is the case management handbook. I won't click that link now, but I urge you to have a look at that through the Law Council of Australia website. That's a, a useful website uh, for a number of reasons and I'd um, recommend that to you. Uh, remember, of course, that uh, you can submit a request for a delivery of um, documents from the CQ Law Library and librarians will follow through. Now, going back to the database, um, you'll see that one of the other things we have is Hein Online. It provides access to a, a wide range of US and international legal resources. So if you want to expand your legal research, have a look at Hein Online and you can undertake the database search by category uh, through jurisdictions or by name in various areas. And so that's particularly useful if you're doing some search inquiries about um, uh, US matters. Some other sites that you might um, find useful is Informit, which is um, a site that provides information about government and corporate sectors. And uh, it's excellent for dealing with um, searches generally. And I've timed out on this one, but um, you can undertake a number of multiple searches um, and it provides information that um, helps. It's, it's sort of like a, almost like a Google, but um, it's uh, for legal matters. So that's Informit. I'll leave you to have a look at that. And uh, people uh, quite often use that as a first point of resource. Uh, Informit has its AGIS plus text, which deals uh, at a more um, detailed level. Okay. Um, Queensland Civil and Administrative Tribunal. If you want information about that, you can go to uh, the web page for it, or you can search um, cases for QCAT through OSLI or the Supreme Court Library um, or the Tribunal website. The Supreme Court Library, of course, is um, uh, online and uh, has some valuable resources. You can supplement the resources um, that you have through the law library at the university with the Supreme Court Library. And uh, as I th think I've mentioned in the past, the library itself is a great place to visit and spend some time. Other resources, um, let's have a look at the land title practice manual. These are not through the library. These are through general websites. So the land practice manual is a very familiar document for conveyances and those that work in property law. If you're doing some study, I would urge you to consider and refer to the land title practice menu because it's an authoritative source of information about a wide range of property law related materials as they operate in practice. So you'll see there leases, easements, caveats, etc. Okay, um, what you can also consider is undertaking some work with EndNote and um, EndNote can be found at the Queensland Law Society website 
EndNote's a tool to help keep citations in one place, particularly cases and legislation. Um, some people use EndNote to great advantage and um, it is something that you should consider. All right, um, but there are a number of different uh, options. EndNote has some uh, counterpart um, platforms such as uh, Zotero and Mendeley. All right, so that's all I propose to do at this stage. Remember, of course, you can contact the librarian and um, we will expand on the uh, information and resources that we've considered in this brief video in much greater depth during class. But for now, please take some time to spend um, uh, an opportunity to research and delve into these sites and create systems for yourself that work for you. Thank you.